वेलकम क्लास माई सर प्रोफेसर डी एस राय प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बी बी डी आई टी एम लखनऊ टूडे विल गो के सी ई जीरो सेवन सिक्स अर्बन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्लानिंग एंड सिस्टम टूडे विल कवर लेक्चर फोर्टीन पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट इंटरमीडिएट पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट रेफरेंस एज यूजल आई हैव टेकन चक्रवर्ती पार्थ आई एंड दास एंड इमेज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग पेपे कोस्टा एंड प्रेडि रस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड प्लानिंग कडियाली एंड लाल principal and practices of highway engineering naptel and some materials have been taken from the internet so the contents we will cover here is public transportation intermediate public transport transport para transit introduction policy introduction existing scenario acts rules ipt use of its in vehicles financing of ips uh, vehicles and component of its so public transportation public transportation is a form of travel offer locally that enables more people to travel together along with designated route the typical example of types of public transportation including buses trains trams high speed rail airlines coaches dominates public transportation between cities intermediate public transport ipt intermediate public transport ipt sometimes known as para transit refer to road vehicles used on hire for flexible passenger transportation which do not follow fixed time schedule they may or may not follow the fixed route also there are two types of ipt services one is door to door or contract carries this service is from origin to destination that is that will be taxi or cycle rickshaw in form of public transport which service has a fixed route that is cabs and autos so we can see here this is the intermediate public transport ipt they are divided in two parts contract carriage and informal public transport in contract carriage non motorized three wheeler that include non motorized three wheeler like cycle rickshaw now motorized three wheeler like auto rickshaw and four wheeler that is taxi like here the four wheeler cabs are mini buses and motorized three wheelers like sear auto so these are the intermediate public transport ipt para transit para transit provides transportation for people with disability who are unable to use regular fixed route transit service that serves their reason the para transit usually provide door to door services for people who call to reserve a right now introduction for ipt india is witnessing rapid urbanization and motorization while the urban population is growing at the rate of 3.16% per year motor vehicles are growing at a rate of 9% here is the big difference used 
difference. Today, buses contribute less than 1 percent of total registered vehicle in Indian city. In fact, very few Indian city have organized, regularized and regulated public transport system. In the absence of an organized bus, city bus services, the gap is being filled by intermediate public transport IPT modes like three wheeler, auto rickshaw, tempo, Tata magic etcetera which provide public transport services. The policies, the central government recent policy in its initiatives such as 2005 Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewable Mission JNNURM and the National Urban Transport Policy NUTP 2006 aim to provide a vision and a framework to promote sustainable urban transport in India. The recent recommendation of the working group of the urban transport both for the 12th five year plan and ND, anti DPC stress the need to improve the IPT services due to their potential of providing clean mobility and low emission solution. Introduction again IPT is often used as a demand responsive system such as a share ride taxi or and dial a ride services. We are now doing it like Ola, uh, we are uh, doing the same thing. In developing country, the lower standard of living, high population density and easy availability of cheap labor together generate the demand for variety of transport modes. In several benefits includes mobility and connectivity, market responsive services and low cost travel option. Depending on the city size and transport expectation IPT modes may fall under two broad category. First, connect carriage services, contract carriage services which are flexible demand based on services where the passenger determines the destination. Second, informal public transport services characterized by a fixed route with the intermediate stop for boarding and alighting Indian cities use both these IPT modes. The present uh, scenario, existing scenario in Indian city the key role played by IPT are of two type. One is dominant mode of public transport is a smaller and medium size city like Alwar, Amritsar etcetera. If second, a feeder to the main mode of public transport like metro, BRT, sub urban rail etcetera in a large city like Delhi, Mumbai, Calcutta, Ahmedabad. The composition, the predominant type of IPT vehicles across the Indian cities are three seater auto rickshaw 60 percent. This is a, a big numbers. The Tata Magic four wheeler IPT vehicles with the city capacity of eight passengers 24 percent. Higher grade vehicles and the Tempo Bikram three wheeler IPT with a seating capacity of six to eight passenger constituting only 16 percent. Many cities like Delhi, Bhopal, Indore, Alwar are switching to these higher grade vehicles to comply with the emission as standard of the city. Acts and rules. 
the existing Central Motor Vehicle Act 1988 and the State Motor Vehicles Rules identify the Regional Transport Authority RTA as the registering authority of all vehicles including IPT. There is no institution that can enforce the various duties and responsibility related to the motor vehicles. The act do not detail the method for fixing the routes and a fair use of modern technology to improve the performance of IPT vehicles, mode of financing of the vehicles, improvement of eco socio-economic conditions of the driver etc. Therefore, there is need to revise the existing policy act and the rule. In India regulatory authority IPT are RTA which issue permits and license to the driver and the second traffic police which is responsible for enforcing the rules and regulation on the road. It has also observed that the permit system in India is of two type open permit system and it uh, as in case of Surat and closed permit system where there is a cap on permits like Mumbai, Calcutta, Delhi etc. However, the cap on the number of IPT vehicles is ad hoc resulting the many more unauthorized vehicles operating in the city like Kolkata, Lucknow and Delhi. Lack of ownership and institution for IPT vehicles. The general central motor vehicle act do not recognize the institution responsible for discharging its function and responsibility toward the IPT vehicles other than the RTA for issuing a permit and traffic police for ensuring adherence of the rules. This sector is considered to be unorganized and completely privately owned. Whatever we have uh, driving institutions, they all are in private sector, not in government sector. Government is not recognizing any type of the, this institution. The roots the routes of the three seaters auto rickshaw 80 percent are usually not fixed for operation by RTA except in Guwahati and Kolkata where these are enforced. In case of Bikram tempo 70 percent routes are mostly fixed by the unions of uh, auto and the driver themselves. Fair fixation it is a big job. There are no fixed rules for fixation of the fare. In case of three seater auto rickshaw, the fares are fixed by the RTA on the basis of a government notification. 70 percent of the cities do not have a fixed fare system for Tempo, Bikram, Tata Magic, etc. The fares are decided by the unions and improving and upgrading IPT vehicles and servicing 2014. The driver themselves due to lack of a standardized analytic framework for the fare determination, implementation and revision, drivers usually over change and conflict between the drivers, unions, commuter and authority are common. Infrastructure facilities. In most of the cities, adequate number of IPT stands, interchange and parking facility for the vehicle are not provided. As a result, these vehicles queue along the roadside 
leading to congestion especially near the junction. The driver do not have access to other infrastructure like gas station, registered repair shop and a rest room or shelters. Vehicle technology and fuel type. The city size do not always define the type of or type or characteristic of IPT vehicles. It has been observed that 64 percent of the vehicle across the Indian cities are of four stroke, two stroke accounts only 36 percent, two stroke, uh, stroke vehicles type are mostly found in category 1 and 2 see the cities due to their lower capital and maintenance cost. This is also this also results in a high level of pollution. The predominant fuel type used by IPT vehicles across the India is CNG LPG 60 percent. In remaining 40 percent of the city mostly belonging to category 1 and 2 vehicles use a blend of diesel and petrol which also lead to greater level of pollution and greenhouse gas emission. Use of ITS in vehicles, IPT unlike cab and a private vehicle do not use modern technology like GPS, panic button etcetera. Now, it is going uh, in implementation stage. As a result, these vehicles are usually concentrated in a place where the probability of getting passenger is highest. Secondly, traffic police often penalize the driver for not wearing uniform, non use of fare meter, violation of route, lack of document etcetera without giving a proper chalan to drivers. Thirdly, IPT is not considered safe especially for the female and elderly people as the vehicle cannot be tracked. And the finally, the driver often change illegally as there is no fixed meter system in most of the cities. From the survey, it has been observed that more or less all age group of the people are using IPT system. However, commuter in the age group of 30 to 40 years are predominant. The average distance travelled by a passenger is approximately 5.5 kilometer with the average spending rupees 600 per month. Some of the major issue faced by the user are high fare being changed by the operate, operators due to faulty fare meter, absence of dedicated auto rickshaw, stands parking area which often lead to chaos and congestion on road overloading in case of shared services, safety, security issue especially for female and elderly user, non availability of auto rickshaw services at night time. So, these are the different problem in IPT. IPT unlike cab and private vehicles generally do not use modern technology although it 
could significantly upgrade the service and solve many issues like unequal dispatch of the vehicle, security to passenger, enforcement by traffic police, overcharging by driver from commuter. This section deals with the solving some of the issues related to IPT operation through use of ITS technology to IPT vehicles. Component of ITS, ITS intelligent traffic system, ITS consists of various component which are further classified into three major component. ITS used in the vehicle means in vehicle equipment. The first is a passenger information services PIS. What are the passenger needs that could be provided? Now, it is provided by Google. Every uh, mobile holder, a smart uh, mobile holder gets information from the Googles. Then the second is global positioning system GPS. Where you are, where you are going, this could be easily monitored by the road user or a vehicle user by their mobile. So, global positioning system is uh, that are provided in the vehicle for moment of the passenger. The panic button, it should be compulsory for every vehicle. Suppose a female or elderly passenger are sitting there and divers is uh, taking the vehicles in some unknown route. So, the female passenger or elderly passenger can put panic button so that the police or may other sources come uh, near to him for their help. Then a smart card reader that could be implemented in every vehicles. So, it could be easily readable. Security camera network system each vehicle must contain security camera network system so that it can be seen from anywhere in the control room where the vehicle is going and who are the persons, who is the owner of the vehicle, who is the driver of the vehicle that could be easily monitored from the control room. Hard and a vacant panels, it could be seen that this vehicle has a vacant or had this could be also monitored from the central control system. Now, control center first whatever we had talked in first uh, phase that are fixed in the vehicle. Now, in control center the traffic management system TMC GPS dial a rickshaw system. This could be implemented from the control system when every vehicle have such type of facilities then control room can monitor can navigate any vehicles from the control room. Then the next is with the traffic police. Traffic police is responsible for implementing law and order rules and regulations of the traffic or RTA. More efficiently, these components can be implemented in two phases. So, in first phase would consist of implementation of panic button. This is a very important. This should be 
put in every vehicles so that in an emergency passenger can push the panic button for help and second gps along with the traffic management center hard and vacant panels and each alarms this should be implemented into first phase for ipt it is very essential to implement the phase 1 immediately on the war basis for the safety of the people for the safety of the passenger and for betterment of driver and vehicle also the second phase would consist implementation of ips information system security camera and a smart a smart car reader should be implemented in the vehicles in the second phase so once every vehicle fully equipped with this ITS system then the passenger vehicle driver everything will be safe and they can use the vehicle without any fear so thank you thank you very much